Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see what is subnetting and what is FLSM and VLSM and how to design subnets using FLSM method. In this section, we are going to see some examples of how to design subnets using FLSM method. Before going to that example, we will see some definitions here. What is subnetting? Subnetting is dividing bigger networks into multiple smaller networks. It will help us to save the wastage of IP addresses. We can do subnetting by two ways. The first method is FLSM, fixed length subnet mask. The second method is VLSM, variable length subnet mask. Now we will see what is FLSM. FLSM is divide one large network into multiple smaller networks with same size of subnet mask. So in FLSM, we can use same length of subnet mask for every subnet. What is VLSM? In VLSM, we can divide one larger network into multiple smaller networks with different length of subnet mask. So in VLSM, we can use different length of subnet mask for every subnet. How to choose this subnet mask length? This will differ based on our host requirements for every subnet. In this design, we can see four departments, sales, marketing, HR, and IT departments. Each department needs 30 hosts per each department. So for this design, we can use FLSM method. We can consider every department as different subnet with 30 host requirement for each subnet. In this example, we are going to design the subnets with 30 numbers of hosts. The network we are going to use is 192.160.1.0 slash 24. This is the class C IP network. So the default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So we need 30 numbers of hosts here. As per class C IP network, the total number of network bits are 24 and the total number of host bits are 8 bits. But so in subnetting, normally we will convert these host bits, host bits into network bits. That is converting zeros into one. So using this two power table, we can find out the required host bits. These power values are the number of host bits. Uh, we are we know already to find out total number of hosts in every subnet. The formula is two power h minus two. This two power h minus two should be greater than or equal to required host. So it should be as per our example, it is thirty. So to find out the number of bits, host bits, we have to refer this to power table. We can see it should be 30 greater than 30. So here we can see the value is 32. It is almost close by. So we can check with this number 2 power 5. So 2 power 5 minus 2, that is 32 minus 2, which is 30. So it is equal to 30. So our total number of host bits, we can find out using this two power table. Here in our case, the total number of host bits are five. Next, we will find out the subnet, subnet bits. To find out the subnet bits, the formula is total host bits minus required host bits. Total host bits are eight. Here we can see and required host bits, that is five. So eight minus five, three. Uh, now, uh, the subnet bits value is 3, that is n. Here in the table also, we can see the newly converted subnet bits are 3. Next, we are going to find out total number of network bits. The formula is default network bits plus subnet bits. In For, D, for class C IP network, the default subnet bits are 24 and subnet bits are 3 for this example. So 24 plus 3 is equal to 27. Total number of network bits are 27. Now we are going to find out the customized or revised subnet mask using subnet mask values. 
So revise subnet mask, we are going to find out. Um, here we can see from the table, um, for eight one, the first octet values are eight ones, eight binary ones. In the table, we can, the subnet mask value table, you can see here eight ones, the value is 255. So the first octet values are 255. The same way second and third and octet values also 255 because all the eight bits are one. For the final fourth octet, the three bits are ones and the other five, bit, uh, five bits are zeros. Here we can see the third bit value, three ones and five zero. So the value is 224. So the revised subnet mask for the uh, example is 255, 255, 255 dot. 24. Now we know the host bits h which is equal to 5 and subnet bits n which is equal to 3. Now we are going to find out total number of subnets we can create using this network. The formula is 2 power n so 2 power 3 which is 8. We can create 8 number of subnets. Next we are going to find out the block size. The block size is how many IP address every subnet can hold. To find out the subnet block size, the formula is 2 power h. So that is the total number of IP addresses. 2 power 5 is equal to 32. Every subnet will have 32 number of IP addresses. Next, we are going to find out network ID and broadcast ID for every subnet. Here we can see in the right side table, I already written the 8 subnet numbers. Now we are going to find out network ID and broadcast ID. You can see from the left side table, I have already written the eight subnets IP addresses. Each subnet is having 32 IP addresses. The subnet block size is 32. So uh, every subnet will have 32 IP addresses. The first subnet's IP address will start from 192.168.1.0. Then will, it will increment to 1.1, 1 1.2. Then it will go up to 1.31 because 32 IP addresses. The same way, the next subnet will start from 32, will end with 63. The, it will go up to 1.255. So eight subnets. In this way, we can create. Now we will write the network ID and broadcast ID for every subnet. For the first subnet, the network ID. The network ID is the first IP address of every subnet. So first subnet's network ID is 192.168.1.0 slash 27 is our subnet mask. Uh, for the next network ID, here we can see that's the first IP address of the second subnet, 1.32. To get that, we have to add 32 to the 32 IP address to the previous network ID. We will get 1.32. The same way we have to add 32 IP addresses to the previous network ID, we will get the sub uh, network ID of the current subnet. The same way when we add 32 IP address, we will get this network ID values. Now we will find out the broadcast ID. Broadcast ID is the last IP address of every subnet. Here we can see for the first subnet 192.168.1.0 is the network ID. That's the first IP address. Last IP address is 1.31. So 1.31 is the broadcast ID for the first subnet. The same way broadcast ID for the second subnet is 1.63. For the third subnet is 1.95. The remaining also I have written here. Next example, we are going to design the subnets with 1000 hosts. Here we are going to use class B IP network 172.16.0.0 slash 16. The default subnet mask for class B IP network is 255.255.0.0. Here we need 1000 number of hosts. The formula for finding out total number of hosts for each subnet 2 power h minus 2, which should be greater than or equal to record hosts. In our case, it is 1000. So, in our case here, we can see the network bits for the class B IP networks are 
16 and host bits for the class the IP networks are 16 bits. So out of the 16 bits, how many bits are needed to meet our requirement 1000 hosts? So here for that, we can use the two power table. So from the two power table, we can closely see this 1000, the value is 1024 here. So we will use this value in the formula. So 2 power 10 minus 2, that is 1024 minus 2, that is 1022, which is greater than uh, which is greater than 1000. So the total number of host bits for this design is 10. So required host bits are 10. Next, we are going to find out the number of subnet bits. Total number of host, the formula is total number of host bits minus required host bits. Total number of host bits are 16. Uh, required host bits are 10. So subnet bits, that is n equal to 6. Here in the table also we can see subnet bits are 6. Now we are going to find out the total number of network bits. The formula is default network bits, that is 16 plus subnet bits, which is 6. So by adding 16 plus 6, we will get 22. So total number of network bits are 22. So now we can find out the customized or revised subnet mask using this subnet mask table. Here you can see the first octet is uh, 8 ones. So the value is 255. So the second octet is also the same way. So 255. The third octet, we have borrowed the host bits, six uh, host bits, and converted it into binary ones. So the value will change. Six ones and two zeros. In the table, you can refer the value is 252. So the revised subnet mask value is 255.255.252.0. Now we know the number of host bits, that is 10, and number of subnet bits, n, which is 6. Next, we will find out total number of subnets we can create from this network. The formula is 2 power n, so 2 power 6, which is 64. We can create 64 numbers of subnet from this network. Next, the subnet block size. The block size is how many IP addresses the subnet can hold, every subnet can hold. The formula is 2 power, for, two power h. 2 power h, h is 10, so 2 power 10 is equal to 1024. Every subnet can hold 1024 IP addresses. But in every block, we can only hold 256 IP addresses. So we have to find out number of blocks inside this every subnet. The, if, when the value is greater than two, uh, 256, we have to use this formula. 2 power h divided by 256. 1024 divided by 256, we can get the value is 4. So we can get 4 number of sub blocks inside every subnet. Next, we are going to find out network ID and broadcast ID for every subnet. Here we can see total number of subnets are 64. So I have written the subnet numbers over here. The, from the left side table, you can see the IP address will start from 172.16.0.0. Uh, every subnet will have 1024 IP addresses. Here you can see, and which will divide into four sub blocks. Every blocks will have 256 IP addresses. So the network ID for the first subnet is 172. That's the first IP address, 172.16.0.0 slash 22. That is subnet mask. So the last IP address for the subnet, you can see here 172.16.3.255. That's the last IP address. That is our broadcast ID of first subnet. To find out the next network ID, we have to add the block size. Block size, in this case, we cannot add the block size, which is greater than 256. So we have to add the sub block size, that is four. Where we have to add in our subnet mask, uh, we have to find out the non-zero octet. Non-zero octet is the 
this one third octet that is 252 that is the third octet so under third octet we have to add four this block size sub block size when we add four to this third octet we will get the next network id 162 16.4.0 the same way we have to add four to the every network id we will get the subsequent network ids 4 8 12 like that we will get that now we have to find out the broadcast id for every subnet so this first uh, subnet will starts from 0.0, .0 and ends with 3.255 that is the last ip address so the same way the second subnet starts from 4.0 it should end with 7.255 because the next network id is 8.0 so the broadcast id is the last ip address 7.255 the same way third subnets broadcast id is 11.255 because the next network id starts from 12.0 the same way we have to find out the broadcast id for every subnet this is how we have to design subnets with FLSM method. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.